Everybody, Dr. Rob here, Facebook Live once again. Short and sweet today, we're going to be talking about weight loss and its positive outcomes on joint degeneration, specifically the knee. Isn't that surprising? If we get into better shape, our joints are healthier. This was a study that just came out in radiology just yesterday. I can tell you that we're getting a lot of feedback. We're talking about it in the office. We're talking about uh, our doctor colleagues. This isn't the first article that's talked about weight loss and joint health. I can remember several years ago, we had an article that talked about losing weight. For every pound that you lost, it was four times the strain off your knee. We've seen them in the spine. So this article is very interesting in that it spoke about over a four year period, if people lost weight 5%, there was a distinctive change in joint space, cartilage, and meniscus. If it went up to 10% of weight loss, when you think about that, that's not a lot because they were dealing with obese people, there was an even more of a distinctive change. So basically they can say the more weight you lose or the closer you get to optimum body weight slash composition, the healthier your joints, in this case, your knee was. So let's talk a little bit about that and why. Well, number one, the weight. They did refer to the concept in osteoarthritis of wear and tear. I don't really like that. I don't want people to think that osteoarthritis is wear and tear. Osteoarthritis is the body's response to inflammation. Everybody understand that. It's truly an autoimmune capacity because the body's attacking itself. And that's what autoimmune is. It's attacking its own cartilage. It's attacking its own meniscus. It's attacking all in the joint space. Rheumatoid arthritis is attacking at the synovial level. So understand that osteoarthritis truly isn't wear and tear, though the term was used, it's more at the osteo, um, autoimmune level. With that being said, let's look at that and understand that as you lose the weight, there's not as much pressure and the joints don't have to bear the brunt of excess weight. It's only made our joints for a certain amount. You know, we see people a, a lot of times come in and, and I saw somebody today, she was quite heavy, and I said to her, I can only do so much chiropractically with my hands and my modalities. We've got to take the weight and the strain off. And she understood that. So that speaks to that, if you will, that wear and tear concept. In addition, fat cells. That's what we have when you have, you have fat cells. Fat cells are depositories for toxins. They're also inflammatory. So the more inflamed you are, the more inflammation obviously you have, the more circulating inflammation, the more toxic you have, the more damage is going to be done to your joint areas. So my suggestion is exercise. What kind of exercise to do? Well, my theory with joints is they need to be used but not abused. So clearly if you're too heavy, don't be jumping up on a box or doing a box jump, if you will. Let's start walking, let's start moving. Let's get our patients active. Let's get our friends active. In addition, best way to lose weight, slowly. Lifestyle. Everybody's like, can I lose 10 pounds in six days? Chop your arm off doesn't work you've done like that one in any case you got to lose the weight slowly over a duration of time it's lifestyle you noticed what they said it was a four year study I know it's almost summer everybody's excited everybody wants to lose a ton of weight but we want to lose the weight we want to lose it appropriately and want to keep it off so a good diet as long as it's not the standard American diet one thing about diet that I want everybody to know is I always hear you know, um, which diet is better? Well, whatever the standard American diet is, it's the worst diet out there. So I don't have a problem if you switch to paleo. I don't have a problem if you switch to Mediterranean. I don't have a problem if you switch to keto. What you wanna to switch to, a diet that's attainable over a duration of time, a lifestyle, and a diet that's individualized and personalized for you. That's why you wanna give me a call. In any case, for joint health, we wanna keep our body body composition as appropriate as we can. Sort of like 15% body weight for uh, got, uh, percentage weight for men and about 23 for women, give or take on different age brackets. Additionally, if you go to a practitioner or a functional medicine doctor, you wanna take some specific blood labs to see if you're inflamed. C-reactive protein is a real good one. In addition, these different interleukins, interleukin 1B, interleukin 6, interleukin 8, are the, are, can be ordered by different physicians and you can see if you have a predisposition or you're on your way to spinal and knee discomfort. Those are some um, objective suggestions. So if you go to the doc, make sure anybody you go to, like we have here, you have a bio um, electrical impedance analysis, 
they take some specific blood work. And one of the other things that I recommend is a good movement screen. Because if you're not moving well, especially if you're heavy, you're gonna put extra strain on your joint and therefore you're gonna rip away all the cartilage and um, all the uh, meniscus and things of that nature. So the generation of the knees does not have to be associated with your age. We can slow that down, we can even reverse some of it and we wanna lose weight, eat better, exercise. And the last thing is supplements. What supplements would I recommend? Well, glucosamine has been tried and true without question. Glucosamine and chondroitin, great, good, real, solid studies, five years, double blind studies for the knee. Some of the things that I like a little better than glucosamine, and that's borne out in the literature, is something called osteovantive, which has undenatured collagen type 2. Not bone broth, but undenatured collagen type 2. Undenatured collagen type 2 is chicken sternum that's been cooked at a very low level that's really been shown to when you absorb it in the body or take it orally to go through the whole um, track. It goes past a place called the Pyre's Patch. The Pyre's Patch in your stomach says, okay, this is self and not foreign. Your body absorbs it and it protects against autoantigens. It protects, protects against autoimmunity. You mix that with an herb, a beautiful herb like Thea, this herb actually speaks to cells and doesn't allow inflammation to be expressed. That combination has shown to be great for overall joint health. If you want to resolve some inflammation, Specialized Pro Resolving Mediators. Without question, Specialized Pro Resolving Mediators have been the breakthrough in the last 18 year, excuse me, 18 months in the idea of the resolution of inflammation. You mix that with fish oils, you have that great combination. They're different than fish oils, but my protocol is to mix with fish oils to get the resolution of inflammation. And finally, real simply, some probiotics. Take care of your gut. 70% of your immune cells are in your gut. Your gut is your house for immunity. If your gut is not taken care of, you're gonna be expressing inflammation from the inside out throughout your body. So my joint protocol would be osteovanov, SPM, you could use glucosamine, and a probiotic. So let's recap. Let's lose some weight. Let's get our body composition appropriate. Let's start exercising. Let's use the joints. Let's not abuse the joints. Let's have a quality diet, any kind of, kind of quality diet that's individualized for you. Remember in a diet, count chemicals, not calories, nutritional value, not calories, and proper supplements like osteovanov, omega-3 fish oils, SPM, and John Moore, probiotics. So, any questions there? Yeah, uh, you mentioned body fat. If someone wanted to measure their body fat, what's the best way to do that? For me, the best test out there is the in-body. I have it here. The in-body is a great test because I like it as a, as a middle-aged guy where it doesn't use my age. It, look, it looks at my muscle status at the time. Most body electrical impedance analysis have age as a component. Understand they're all equation based. And in almost every equation other than, every machine's equation other than in body, they're using age as an example. In body doesn't. So it's really gonna take you where you are at that time. It doesn't benefit you if you're younger, but it doesn't take away if you're older. What's beautiful about the in body also is it talks about visceral fat, that fat that surrounds your organs, which is really deleterious to your health and infiltrates all your organs like your heart, your liver, your pancreas and the like. It talks about not just your body fat, it gives me a basic metabolic rate, um, and it also gives me segmental muscle and fat so I can see your left arm's fatter than your right arm or if your left arm's bigger in muscle than your right arm. It gives me a very good lens into the body from the inside out in your musculature versus your fat. Where can people find you and what they, do you got coming up? They can find me at 311 North Street right here in White Plains. Please, everybody share this information. We're doing great. We're doing a great drive on Facebook. Um, I've got a great talk in two weeks coming up. It's all about how to get into shape for the summer, believe it or not, at Green Life, an affiliate of ours in Mamaroneck. It's a great place, real healthy. Hello, Mark and Leslie, nice big shout out. Come see me in two weeks on May 16th at 7 p.m. and we'll talk all about that. We good? Dr. Rob, always yours in health.